All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to boot up the Ken Hank hard drive right here. Now, <clears throat> when you plug it in, it is plug and play. When you plug it in, you know, your, your, your computer will recognize it, right? And you'll, you'll see it. You'll see it, uh, you know, Batacera right here. And then share, I mean, it's, you know, all, all, all the folders in it. But you can't boot it from here, though. So, I'm going to show you how. All right. You got to go here. Now, hold the shift button down. And then restart. And continue to hold the shift button until you get the, the boot up screen. All right, there we go. Now, go down to Troubleshoot. Click Advanced Options. And choose a UEFI firmware. And click Restart. All right, <clears throat> here's what you gotta do. First thing, go to security. Now go all the way down to secure boot, right here. Now you have the, uh, the default is enabled. So what you have to do is you have to hit enter and click disable, I already got it disabled. So choose disable for the secure boot, right? Now go up top. Go to boot. Now go down. Now this <clears throat> this right here is the Ken Hank hard drive. It's called J Micron Tech EFI USB device. Um, you want that to be first. So we want that to boot first, not Windows. So hit F6 to move it up. You have to highlight it and help hit F6 to to make that boot first what we want now hit F10 to save and exit click yes hit enter All right, it's booting up now. All right, there we go. I'm going to show you guys all the emulators and shit like that. All right, there we go. Now, I'm just using the Xbox controller, so. All right. It's got a lot of emulators on this. And the PlayStation 2 games play smooth too. Even though I know that, you know, everybody's got an issue with the console X systems playing the PlayStation 2 so that'll be in the next video but yeah that's this is how you boot it up all right